Welcome to the NCAA convention. I'm Dave McHugh. I'm getting the opportunity now to talk to outgoing President Council Chair, President Sharon Herzberger of Whittier College. Thanks so much for taking the time to join me. Well, thank you for having me. First and foremost, congratulations on the time you have served at the NCAA in Division Three, outgoing chair of the President's Council. You've certainly been busy, and they had you busy here at the convention as well, but what are your thoughts as you kind of walk off into the sunset, as it were, at least with your NCAA commitments? Uh, my first and most important thought is there's a lot of important business ahead for the NCAA. This has been an exciting year, but I think the years ahead are going to be even more exciting. Uh, they'll require a lot of uh, good thought and, um, and prioritization of um, how we're approaching athletics on our campus. Yeah, we've really come to a head, and we saw it in conversations in both the issues forum, but also outside of that in conversations that people are having by themselves prior to the convention, at the convention, and certainly moving forward about the financial challenges that the championships face of the division as a whole, talking about the financial challenges on campuses mm -hmm. and, and trying to keep teams uh, active and, and the amount of games. Mm -hmm. Lots of debate between all of those. I'll get some of your thoughts on that. But in a general sense, when you look forward, mm -hmm. how do you see the financial situation what do you think is the biggest challenge uh, the, the biggest cha the biggest challenge really is um, in terms of the cost of college today and that's going to affect um, athletics just as it affects every element of the college or university experience and uh, we've got to be mindful of that. Uh, we can't keep adding. Um, and we have to go back to the basics. And um, one of my mantras that I would repeat often is uh, the basics are participation. Uh, students being able to participate in these wonderful athletic experiences and, uh, and learning. Uh, from the participation, and we've got to figure out how to protect that uh, as we're going forward. One of the things when Mark Emmert, there was a panel for anybody who's not familiar to open up the session essentially, Mark Emmert was actually acting as moderator and asked you the question, how do you see Division Three in 2025? Mm -hmm. You had an interesting point. You basically said you hope there's still a variety of teams. Right. Mm -hmm. It seemed that you were alluding to you don't, you're worried about whole programs being cut versus mm -hmm. games and such. Right. When I look across the NCAA and I see that colleges and universities are thinking about cutting back on teams um, and, and as the way of trying to keep costs down. Um, that worries me a lot and it makes me wonder about our priorities and um, it seems that there are other ways to go. Uh, there are ways to um, uh, think about whether we need to uh, replace or repair facilities as much as we do sometimes, um, whether we have to make them as grand as we uh, sometimes do. Um, uh, there are other ways to cut back. Are we, um, uh, can we look at the costs of personnel? Um, and uh, and uh, what I'd like to encourage us to do is to remember that it's, um, it's the day-to-day -day experience of being on a team that provides uh, such educational benefit for our athletes. Mm -hmm. And, um, and that it's that connection between a, uh, a student athlete and a coach that is so critical. And, um, and so when Mark asked that question about how we see or what our hopes are mm -hmm. for 2025, uh, I wanted to make the point that my hope is that uh, the last thing that would be cut is um, uh, individuals with the, is sports mm -hmm. and that uh, colleges would do all they can to try to keep the number of uh, athletic teams that they have and look around for other ways of protecting uh, that the, activity. The interesting juxtaposition of that is mm -hmm. at the votes, 
for yeah. different items that mm -hmm. you know in the legislature mm -hmm. division three approved not only that the women's sand uh, volleyball be a championship which all the divisions had to vote on to allow that to be the 90th championship in, mm -hmm. in the NCAA mm -hmm. they also voted overwhelmingly to allow that to become also a division three right. sport now there are no mm -hmm. teams at this time mm -hmm. but it seems interesting that we're talking about cutting teams and mm -hmm. and now they've and added a team it. yeah right is that something that mm -hmm. that maybe this is, is that a sign that this division is at a crossroads? Well, I think that's a sign, and it's also a sign that if you look at other votes, um, uh, we we were talking to the we had a president and chancellor's luncheon yesterday, and we threw out the question of. Um, okay, uh, what do we think about non-traditional seasons? Mm -hmm. And uh, in general, people want non-traditional seasons, right? And they want as much as they can get. Right. They, they, you know, the argument is that that's a wonderful thing for the, um, for the athletes to be able to have some experience and to interact with the coach. Um, we, um, we talked about, uh, should we think about reducing the number of contests? Mm -hmm. Um, uh, the, the proposal today was uh, kind of across the board except for football, but uh, some people have said, well, um, uh, maybe we should redo that proposal, mm -hmm. but um, should we be thinking in some sports of reducing the number of contests? In general, we don't want to do that, right? We don't want to do anything. We just want to keep adding. Yeah. Um, it's not going to happen. You know, and uh, I think over the next year we're going to have to get serious about thinking about all of the ways that we present um, uh, these experiences for our students, and and think about what's the core, what's what are our priorities, and then uh, what in addition can we do. Another interesting moment up there with uh, President Emmer and, and the rest of the presidents from other divisions was Division Two announces how they have a surplus and they're adding to their championships. Yeah. And you follow that up with, well, we're dealing with a deficit. It's right. a pretty significant one. And, and we're dealing with cutbacks or having to deal with yeah. cutbacks. Right. I don't know if everybody really fully appreciated those words. Right. We are facing that. Mm -hmm. You've had some thoughts on how to tackle all of that because it's not a short-term yeah. problem. This clearly looks to be a long-term. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts on what really needs to be considered or at least the conversations mm -hmm. that should be had? Right. Well, a lot of presidents are talking about um, the uh, the burdens on their campus of the non-traditional season. I think that's going to have to be on the table. Um, it's putting great pressures on the uh, campuses, on facilities. It's putting uh, tremendous stress on training staffs. Um, and it's, uh, some people are saying, well, have we gotten out of hand? Uh, we didn't used to have non-traditional season, or are there things, or can we have non-traditional seasons in ways that don't add the, to those burdens? Can we allow uh, the coaches to interact with students for instructional purposes, mm -hmm. um, uh, rather than, you know, holding contests and, and full practices. Sure. So I, I, that's an example of something that we as um, a President's Council have been thinking about and want very much for there to be a full debate uh, and discussion uh, among the membership. And of course, you guys also had at one time supported the reduction of about 10 percent for most sports in the number of total games. Mm -hmm. Here at the convention, mm -hmm. you guys stepped back from right. that, were suggested mm -hmm. referral. Referral right. was um, passed. Mm -hmm. um, what does that really mean, though? It, it, we want to research the mm -hmm. cutting games. Mm -hmm. Is that, it, some would argue that that's something that, okay, if a school wants mm -hmm. to do that or if a conference mm -hmm. wants to do that, mm -hmm. so be it. Mm -hmm. Why are we mandating it across the division? What would be the argument for this cutback? Uh, right. Um, uh, we, upon, uh, originally we did uh, think that perhaps that was something that we should support for a vote of the membership, but the more we learned about it and the more we, we thought about the ramifications, we did believe that that should be referred for a much wider study. But the rationale um, of... Um, Sorry. Sorry. Well, what, what, really, it's the, well. What's the question based on 
conferences can certainly uh -huh. cut back oh, and Midwest is and NESCAC point. and others have right. done that. Mm -hmm. Or schools can make it on their own decision. They don't have to play the right. maximum amount of yeah. games. So mm -hmm. what's the argument that a division-wide yeah. decision be, we're right. going to cut games back? Yeah, that's a fascinating question. Um, and, um, and we're always trying to um, make a judgment about whether as a division as a whole we should make a statement about this or we should allow it to be voluntary with schools decide which to do. What we're hearing more and more from presidents in this difficult economic time is that they need the help of the division because they are would be put at such an, um, a disadvantage economically or competitively if they chose to cut back, but others in their conference did not. And so for the purposes of um, uh, equity, mm -hmm. Um, presidents are asking us to take these on as uh, division-wide issues. Well, I realize you'll be leaving and not necessarily overseeing it, but I know you'll have an eye on it. What do you hope the study at least bring, brings to the table? What, I'm not necessarily looking at numbers. I mean, what are you hoping that at least the study accomplishes? Um, we, we do believe, as someone said on the floor mm -hmm. uh, today, that it's been a long time mm -hmm. since we really had this full you know, comprehensive assessment of the um, uh, of, of non-traditional seasons, of the uh, number of contests, and uh, and which sports uh, might be best to think about reduction in the number of contests. Uh, maybe it's not everyone, uh, but maybe there are some. Uh, some people have identified foot, um, uh, softball and baseball mm -hmm. as the sports that are truly affected uh, by the, um, the creep in the number of um, uh, contests mm -hmm. that have been uh, added over the years. And so we really do believe that there should be this comprehensive look and that um, we can incorporate the thoughts of all elements of the membership and come back with a proposal that makes sense. As you step out, how do you see the immediate future of Division Three? I think Division Three is going to get stronger and stronger, and I truly believe that we are a model for the NCAA and that uh, more and more people are recognizing that. And um, so I think we have a very bright future and uh, I'm very proud of uh, being a member and being a part of this organization. If you don't mind, I would love to ask you, D3 gets 3.18% of that yeah. big, big budget mm -hmm. from the NCAA equates to about $25 million, 75% mm -hmm. of it mm -hmm. goes towards championships. Mm -hmm. There are a lot out there who say, come on, they're the biggest division. Mm -hmm. D1 and D2 are modeling it now in the sense mm -hmm. that the SACs are now mm -hmm. taking part in votes and mm -hmm. it's a true student athlete, et cetera. And we heard a lot of that here at the convention, mm -hmm. that the D3 model is mm -hmm. the great model of the NCAA. Is that enough capital to then go to the NCAA and go, help us out then a little bit? I wouldn't be surprised if we see those discussions down the road. That's pretty succinct and pretty good. I appreciate you taking the time. Okay. You're going to have a lot Thank more you. free time on your hands. Now, you don't so. have all these NCAA responsibilities. You know I what to do with to, it. I don't have to fly to Indianapolis many <laughs> times a year. You're going to miss it. Your yeah, frequent flyer miles it. are going to go away. Yeah, exactly. Well, I appreciate you taking the okay. time so much uh, for joining us. Thank Sharon you, Herzberger, Jay. president for Whittier College and outgoing presidential cha chair for the President's Council here at the NCAA.